Hey everybody, this is Frilly Off and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build the fully automatic observer block carrot and potato micro farm using a farmer. So if you want to jump straight in and start building this thing, I'll put a link down in the description that's going to take you through to the main tutorial. But if you want to see how it works, then stick around and I'll show you. Okay, so this is a new and improved version of the carrot and potato farm I posted the other day. I've managed to reduce the size of the footprint and I've also reduced the size of the or the amount of redstone required. And I've also doubled the productivity of the farmer, which I think is pretty cool, really. Uh, and the way it works is that it uses the Minecraft mechanic that a crop won't stay in the ground if the light level above it is seven or below. So you need to make sure you either build this thing underground or in a room or have a cover over the top of it. So the uh, farmer, hello mate, the farmer plants the crop into the, uh, into the farmland. The observer block behind the back of it detects that there's been a change in the state of that block, firing the two dispensers that are either side. Now the crops, potatoes or carrots, take two or three pieces of bone meal in order to grow it to full height and the timings of the redstone at the back mean that both of the droppers on either side fire twice so that's at least uh, four bits of red uh, four bits of bone meal that are being dispensed within a couple of ticks and then the block itself at the bottom the farmland is updated by another redstone line which forces a crop out of the ground and then the farmer plants again and this it doubles the efficiency of the farmer because he's not walking backwards and forwards or left and right planting on the previous version the the farmland uh, was updated by a piece of farmland next to it so the farmer would go over to the other side plant a crop and that would update this farmland which slowed it down a little bit with this version, he doesn't have to do that. He just stands there planting and the the uh, the farmland automatically updates, popping the crop out. Now, there are, as with the other one, there are three circuits on here. The first one is the on-off switch. So if you flick the on-off switch, the light above the farmer goes on. It makes the light level above that farmland 8 or above, I think it's 13 or 14, which stops him from farming. The second one, as we've just identified, uh, is the circuit that tells you that the dispensers on either side are out of bone meal. So that one's got plenty in. This one's out of uh, out of bone meal. Therefore, the light goes on. So we'll throw some bone meal in there. Let's grab some from this guy. Throw some bone meal in there. Light's going to go out. After a few ticks, it could be it could be a few seconds, like it was there, or it could be thirty seconds. The crop in the ground will pop out. And then after another few seconds, again, maybe 10 or 20, that farmer will recognize that there is a farmland to be planted on and he'll start farming and the system will start again. And the last system, uh, the last circuit is a circuit that tells you whether or not the chest is full. So this one has a as a comparator here coming off of the back of the hopper that leads into the chest that comparator gives off a signal strength of one when there's something in it but when the chest is full and the hopper starts to back up it'll give off a signal strength of two which will light up this uh, comparator repeater here which will in turn light up these two repeaters which will turn those two redstone lamps on there so if that redstone lamp is on it means your farm is turned off by the switch if either of those redstone lamps are on it means that you're out of bone meal in one of the dispensers and it tells you which dispenser it is and if those redstone lamps are on if those redstone lamps are on it means your chest is full and obviously that lamp's just come on which means this dispenser is out of bone meal now, don't worry about it wasting bone meal. It'll only dispense bone meal on a crop that needs to be grown. So although it might click a few times, it's not wasting bone meal. And depending on which way your farm is orientated, one of the dispensers is going to run out quicker than the other. On this farm, it's this dispenser. It's always this dispenser. If the crop needs, uh, if the crop needs two pieces of bone meal to grow, 
they'll both dispense one piece of bone meal. If the crop needs three pieces of bone meal to grow, that dispenser will dispense one piece and that dispenser will always dispense two. Now this, again, this depends on which way around your farm is facing. It might be different for you, but one of them will always dispense out two if needed and the other one will always dispense out one. So, so one of your dispensers is going to continually be emptying quicker than the other. But that's just normal. So let's lob some more bone meal into the chests to stop this from happening. It uses quite a bit of bone meal, so don't be surprised if you get through it like it's going out of fashion. So let's have a quick look around the back of the redstone. You've got the observer block behind the back of that block there, which detects, as I said, the change in state of the crop block, which sends a signal, a pulse, all the around, all the way around this redstone into the into the uh, dispensers there. Okay, what it also does, and this is going to break the farm, but what it also does, let's break that out so you can see it. What it also does is sends a signal via these repeaters into the farm block, which is the uh, which is a circuit that updates the farm block, causing the crops to pop out. So this repeater needs to be on two ticks. That repeater needs to be on four ticks, which gives the, the line just enough time to fire these dispensers, to fire these dispensers twice. Uh, if you put repeaters in there or, or messed about with the, the wiring in any other way, I found that it breaks the farm. And obviously these comparators are the comparators which pull a signal out of the uh, dispensers there, which tells the system to turn off if there's nothing in the, if there's no bone meal in the dispensers. So we'll put that back. And now uh, after a couple of seconds, the crop will pop out when the system sends it a random tick update. And then the farm is going to start planting again. So I'll put a list of everything you need to build this thing on the screen now. So pause the video if you need to. And now we'll crack on and start building. Okay, to build this, you're going to need an area that is five wide by eight deep. And you're going to need to dig down at least two blocks at the front. So bear that in mind when you're building it. Okay, first of all, you need to put down the chest. So uh, decide where you want to put your chest. You need to put your chest in the ground like that. Then go around to the back, crouch and put a hopper into the back of the chest. Then you need to pop out those few blocks there. You need to put a comparator coming off the back or coming off the side of your hopper. And then you need to put two pieces of redstone dust, one there and one there. Now we need to dig out a bit of an area for us to work in. So dig out a bit of room. That much should be enough. Like that. Then grab yourself a repeater and you need to put a repeater there. Then you need to spin round and put a repeater facing in the opposite direction next to it and then a repeater there. So you've got that. Then you need to put some redstone dust linking the repeaters together. And then finally you need to take out your redstone lamps and put a redstone lamp on either side of your chest. So you've got your chest your hopper leading into the chest, comparator coming off the hopper, two pieces of redstone dust, drop down a level and then a repeater with some dust leading into two more repeaters which are going to light up your redstone lamps when the chest is full. So now you should have something that looks like that. So now it's time to fill it in. So grab yourself some stairs and you need to put some stairs around the chest. Like that. So that way you can still see your indicator lamps. 
Uh, you can still access your chest quite easily and you don't fall down a hole when you're uh, when you're walking over the chest. And then grab some solid blocks and just fill in the side like that. Now it's time to put in some water so we know what we're working around. So grab yourself a block of dirt and you want to crouch and put a block of dirt on top of your hopper. And then this is where your water's going to go. Your water's going to go there. So you need to you need to make an area for your water to go into. Now I like to use lapis when I'm putting water down because I know where the water is then and I won't go digging through it accidentally. So grab yourself some lapis and you need to pop out that block, put a, a block there, there and there. Uh, but because the front of the farm is going to be visible, we need to put a block of choice there. Otherwise, you are going to be able to see your lapis block, which you probably don't want. And then you can go ahead and throw your water into there. So now you've got something that looks like that. So now it's time to put in the observer dispenser combo that's going to fire the system. So grab yourself your set of stairs and you need to put an upside down set of stairs there over the top of your chest so you can still access, access your chest. Grab some solid blocks. You need to put a solid block there, a solid block next to your dirt and a solid block next to that. And then you need to put a solid block above the lapis behind the back of your water and a solid block on the other side of your dirt. So you've got that. Now take out your dispensers. These have to be dispensers. Don't use droppers or it won't work. They have to be dispensers. And you need to put a dispenser there facing the dirt. And you need to put a dispenser there facing the dirt. You're going to have to look at the side of that block you've just put down. And then you want to go around the back of your farm. And you need to put an observer block just there. And you need the redstone part facing backwards. And you need the detector part, the smiley face part, at the front. If you put it this way around, with the smiley face at the back, the detection part at the back, it's not going to work. Okay, so when you're putting it in, you need to go around the back, look at the side of that block, and put it there like that. Now it's time to go around the back and start putting in some redstone wiring. So get yourself around the back, take out your repeaters, and you need to put a repeater going into your dirt block, Need to set that onto four ticks. It has to be on four ticks. Solid block behind it. And then a repeater going into that block set on two ticks. Very important. That repeater going into the, the, uh, the dirt block, the farmland, has to be on four, then a solid block, and then a repeater there set onto two. Now take out your solid blocks again. You want to put a solid block on the back of that uh, observer block, a solid block next to it, and then a solid block down leading into the repeater that you've just put down and then you just want to put some dust on top of those three blocks like that so now every time there's a change in state of the dirt block of the crop block sorry the observer's going to detect it and send a pulse down this line here then you want to take out your redstone dust and you need to put some dust there 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 and there then you want a solid block there and a solid block up behind the back of your dispenser and then just put a blob, blob of redstone dust on top of the on top of that block. Okay, so you want dust, 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 a block there and a block behind the back of your dispenser, and then a blob of dust on top of that block there. So now when that observer fires, it's going to send three pulses around the side here to that dispenser. Now grab yourself your solid blocks again. You need to put a solid block just there and then facing backwards, you need to put a comparator. That comparator is going to pull a signal through that block from that dispenser. And then in front of that comparator, you need to put a, uh, a block. And on the side of that block, you need to put a redstone torch. Everything's going to light up at the moment. Don't worry about that for the time being. Then you want to do the same on the other side. So solid block there. Comparator coming off that block, which is going to pull a signal out of your dispenser. Solid block in front of your comparator. And then a redstone torch coming off the side of it like that. Now take out your solid blocks again. You need to put a solid block above that torch. And then you need to put another three blocks next to it. So you've got four blocks in total. 
And then you want to put three pieces of dust there, there and there. Leading into a solid block. And then next to that solid block, you're going to need a redstone tool, a redstone lamp. OK, same on the other side. Solid block above your torch. Three more blocks. And then you want to put three blobs of dust leading into a solid block and then leading into a redstone lamp. So that's the indicator for when the system is out of bone meal. So now you should have something that looks like that. Now take out your solid blocks and you want to put six solid blocks above the top of this line here, above the top of your observers. So you want to put three there and then another three there like that. Then take out your hoppers and you're going to need to crouch to do this, but you need to crouch and put a hopper going directly into that dispenser. And then go over the other side, do the same again. So make sure that your nozzles are pointing straight down into your dispensers. Then take out a chest. You can use trap chests if you want to. Uh, that's just going to make it easier if you throw stuff in there by mistake to take out before it starts going through the system. But for this build, I'm going to be using normal chests, but either will do. And then you want to put a chest directly above the hopper, a double chest, and then another double chest on the other side, like that. And then in between the two of them, you're going to need to put a redstone lamp. And next to that redstone lamp, you're going to need to put a solid block like that. And then off the front of that solid block, you're going to need to put a lever, which is your start stop. So now every time you flick the lever, you're going to turn the, the lamp on, which effectively turns the farm off. Now we're just going to tidy the front up a little bit. So grab yourself a solid block and you need to put solid blocks up there, up to your torch, up to your redstone lamp. Solid blocks next to it, which covers your dispenser and your, your hopper. Same on the other side. And then up to the top, you can put solid blocks above your lamp, above your lever and above your other lamp. And then you want to go around the back and put some upside down stairs above your chest. One there. And one like that. And that way you can still access your chests. So now we've got that. Okay, so if you've got this far, congratulations, you've nearly finished. We're very, very close. Time to fill up the system now with bone meal and it's gonna need loads of bone meal. Grab yourself some bone meal and lob it in your chest. Same on the other side. Once it filters through, it should turn those lights off. Now, if you whiz around the back, you'll notice that all of this redstone is not lit up anymore, which is perfect. If it is, then you just need to recheck your wiring because you've done something wrong. Now, before we get a farmer in there, it's just best to double check the light level inside here on this block here. It needs to be at seven or below. It's not going to be at the moment because I'm outdoors and uh, it's going to be, I don't know, 14 or 15 in there. But if you go in, to the farm stand on the dirt block press f3 look at the top left hand corner it says light light 13 block 2 which is no good because i need the light level in here to be seven or below which is why you either need to build this underground or in a room or put a massive platform above it which is what i'm going to do so we can just pop back inside again just to check stand on the dirt f3 light level seven Perfect. Now we can till the ground. So grab out, take out your hoe, till the ground. The, the reason you check the light level before you till the ground is because if you, uh, if you till the ground and then stand on it and look at the light level at the top left hand corner, it now has a light level of zero because this block is slightly smaller than a standard block. Uh, so mobs won't spawn on it anyway, but you can't, you can't tell the light level of it. Uh, while it's tilled farmland, you can only do it while it's solid, while it's a solid block, uh, which is why we check it before we, before we hoe it, before we till it. 
So once you've done that, get yourself outside, take out a set of steps, a set of, uh, a set of stairs, and put some stairs there. We're now going to summon a farmer uh, and get him inside the farm. So I've got my farmer. Uh, this farm, I think we're going to use potatoes. So grab yourself a potato. I'm only going to use one potato just to show you. Throw him the potato. Did he pick it up? He picked it up. Now, he can detect farmland that needs farming within a radius of 32 by 32 by... Go on, mate. Get in. Go on. You were in then. You got in. I thought you were going to go in and do it then. 32 by 32 by three blocks. So it's one block above and one block below and 32 by 32. And then he'll go inside and he'll start planting. So we'll get rid of the ladder and then we need to put a bit of glass over the front of it. So grab yourself some glass blocks. I'm using light grey stained glass for this one, but you can use any glass that you want. I've tried using panes on this particular farm and uh, items do, crops do land on the front of the, sta uh, the stairs there and get stuck. So that's why I'm using solid glass on this particular farm. So once he's inside, it'll, give, uh, it'll take 20 or 30 seconds for him to get going. But as soon as he starts, he's going to crack on uh, and just get on with it. And depending on how many crops you throw him to start with, remember we only threw him one potato to start with. Uh, depending on how many you throw in will determine how long it takes for you to start getting crops into this chest. If you only throw in one potato or one carrot, it's going to take about 15 minutes for him to fill his inventory up enough. You'll get the odd, you'll get the odd uh, poisonous one there because he doesn't pick those up. But it'll take 15 minutes if you throw in one potato for him to fill up his inventory and then start giving you crops. If you throw him eight stacks to start with, then as soon as he starts planting, you're going to start reaping the rewards. Now, as long as the there's bone meal in the system and the light level, and you've not flicked the on-off switch and the light level in there doesn't go above uh, seven, he'll continually plant and he'll just get on with it. Now, as with the other farms in this series, you need to make sure that you build this either inside a village within 32 blocks of some valid doors or at least 64 blocks away from any valid village and that includes iron farms or villager breeders if you build this too close to a village but not inside its radius then the farmer in there is just going to try to path back to the village and he won't do any work so as I say either build it inside a village or at least 64 blocks away from any any valid village otherwise the guy in there just won't work so thank you for watching everybody. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials. This is Frilly Off, and I'm out of here.